Hello again and welcome back. I am Jared Case, curator of film exhibitions at the Dryden Theater and the George Eastman Museum. It's another Nitrate Picture Show Monday, which means we've got another streaming suggestion for you based on a title that has shown in one of the first five Nitrate Picture Show film festivals. And this week we're going back two years into the past to talk about the 1948 film from Powell and Pressburger, The Red Shoes. You know, Powell and Pressburger have become sort of regulars at the festival. They've been there more often than some of our regulars that buy tickets to the festival. Of the five years that we've had the festival, fully four of them have had a feature film directed by Powell and Pressburger. Uh, last year it was Gone to Earth. The previous year it was The Red Shoes. The first year, of course, was Black Narcissus. And in between that, we even had Tales of Hoffman. Now, Powell and Pressburger really knew how to use this uh, color process, uh, three-strip Technicolor imbibition, and their prints show very, very well. But their uh, prints, the prints that we use, have become very famous within the lore of the festival because there are sometimes challenges that we have to uh, overcome in order to bring them to the audience. For Tales of Hoffman, uh, we had a print from the Library of Congress the film came out in 1951, right when they ended production of nitrate film, where most of the film was printed on nitrate film, but there was about a reel and a half worth of acetate or safety film cut into the, the entire running of the print. All 1951, all, you know, that, that year's stock, but it just sort of happened that it ended up coming off the, the roll with nitrate and finished up uh, with the acetate just beginning. So that was uh, one interesting uh, situation. For the Red Shoes, it was even more difficult. We had tested the Red Shoes probably in the first year of the festival uh, with our own print from our collection, and we found that there were sound issues. Now, there were ways to address some of them that we didn't know at that point in time. There's something called an A-chain alignment, which we did uh, with the sound head on the projectors, and that did help. But we're still getting some interference with uh, the, uh, the soundtrack, particularly at the end of the film. So we uh, found a print. Actually, it's in our collection, but it's owned by Martin Scorsese. And uh, he's got several films that are on deposit at the museum. And we asked special permission to use the last two reels of Mr. Scorsese's film, along with the initial reels of our own print, and sort of put them together to make a complete print that's not going to have sound problems. And it worked out beautifully. Uh, so this is um, probably, no, it, it is. It's easily my favorite Powell and Pressburger film. And I think that if you haven't seen it, the first time that I saw it was on the small screen and it really really impressed me there so you can stream this now on the criterion channel and uh if you love it i'm happy come on back to uh me for some more streaming recommendations and come back to the nitrate picture show we may have some more powell and pressburger i should let you know that on thursday june 4th the day that we were supposed to show portrait of jenny we are going to have a webinar that's going to be online talking about Portrait of Jenny, uh, about the color processes used, about the change in aspect ratio, which was a technological uh, advance as well, and how we reproduce that in the theater for the Nitrate Picture Show. So hopefully you can uh, go to the eastman.org, sign up for that webinar on June 4th at 1 p.m. in the afternoon, and we'll see you then. But please come on back for another streaming recommendation.